Hello, this is Dustin with Home Mender, and today we are going to be uh, repairing a ceiling uh, that has popcorn on it. Uh, it's always a pain in the butt, nobody likes popcorn, but what's worse than popcorn is a bad popcorn repair. Let's get to it. As you can see, we already have our patch put up. If you need help with that, be sure to watch the Home Mender wall repair video. Alright, so we already have our patch put up. What we're going to do first is we're going to scrape the popcorn around the outside of the patch so we can mud it nice and smooth. So just take like a wide knife and we're gonna scrape all the popcorn off. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to have a smooth surface so we can mud over it without being all bumpy. Whoever did this patch job, they've also cut another line here. We're gonna go ahead and tape that just to make sure it doesn't crack after we're done. Apply the mesh tape. After our mesh tape is on, we're ready to do some mudding. All right, we're gonna mix up some five minute mud in our mud pan with our mud knife. Just add water. We're gonna do about the thickness of mayonnaise. You can also use the green top joint compound that's already pre-mixed. To save time, we like to use the powdered stuff and mix it up ourselves. After you have your mayonnaise mixed up, go ahead and apply it to the joint tape. I like to do one big swoop across. Instead of just mudding the tape on a patch this small, you just want to go one smooth motion all the way across. Cover up any screw holes. Make sure you cover all the joint tape. Still a little bumpy, but we're going to work that out with the sanding. Now that our coat's on there, let's throw a fan on it and let that dry. All right, we've had a fan on it for about 10 minutes. Not completely dry yet, but it's perfect to do what we're about to do next. When doing a popcorn repair, you want it all to blend so it looks uniform and it's not all humpy at the bottom. There's nothing worse than a bad patch. So what I like to do is before it sets all the way, I just like to take my finger and smooth out the rough edges around the sides and kind of blend it with your finger. You don't want to take it and put tracks through it but just enough to take the little bevel down. There we go. There we are, it's looking nice. All right, we're gonna give that a few more minutes to dry. I see a little bit of my mesh tape coming through, so I wanna throw another coat on those areas. Now we're ready for our second coat. Uh, I mixed mine up a little thinner than mayonnaise this time. I like the second coat to be a little more runnier, a little more pliable. We're going to mud those little areas of tape that have come through. Barely see them, and if you notice any little perfections, you can touch those up too. That's going to be nice. Okay, our patch is up and dry. It's been about 20 minutes. It's looking good. Uh, as I said before, make sure you don't have any of those little bumpy ridges around the edge that make things look like a patch. Now, people believe that popcorn texture covers imperfections. It does not. It only amplifies them. So you need at least an A minus repair job before you apply the popcorn. I wanted to show you the technique before we get the popcorn in here because it can get a little messy. Now what you're gonna wanna do is feather the popcorn texture out around the outer edge of the popcorn. You're not gonna stay right on the patch. You're gonna go about six inches past the patch on all sides, help it blend a little bit. We're gonna use some spray texture out of a can and then we're just gonna fan it back and forth. Stop. Stop. You may want to cover your floor or tape your plastic all over your walls. Uh, this is a vacant property and the floor is being changed, so we're not too worried about it. We'll just clean up our mess when we're done. Let's get spraying. All right, so here's our product, available at pretty much any box store. Uh, looks like a giant hair mousse can, and uh, we're just going to fan it back and forth to create the nice even texture. That's a good first coat. It went on pretty nice. If your texture is a little thicker or more coarse, you can apply more coats, but you do need to let it dry in between. All right, 
Our texture's on. It's looking pretty awesome. I'm gonna give you a close up so you can see what it actually looks like. There we are, looking good. Texture's pretty similar, which is a good reason to fan out past your patch. All right, so the patch is complete. It's looking awesome. The texture is pretty similar. You're not gonna notice it. Of course, that whole ceiling will need to be painted to make everything look uniform. We didn't get too messy. Popcorn ceiling looks amazing, and you just learned how to do it for yourself. So for Home Mender Inc., this is Dustin. Hope you learned something today, and if you did, don't forget to click subscribe. Thanks for watching.